So, you want to start a 100 day project? I'm going to show you a way to get started that is not overwhelming, feels super easy. 100 day projects can change your life, let me show you how. So before we get started, here's a subscribe button. I'm new here, but my plan is to create a video a week. So if you subscribe, you'll get all that good stuff. Okay, enough of that, let's carry on. In case we haven't met, my name's Katie. Hello, uh, I'm a full-time illustrator and 100 Day Projects helped me go from thinking about illustration to getting accepted onto a master's programme in illustration at Edinburgh College of Art. And then after I finished my master's, they helped me to pay my rent and get new work and work for lots of big fancy clients. So 100 day projects are definitely worth doing if you want to get really consistent with your work, draw every day, get better at drawing and yeah, just see where your creativity can take you. So usually when I tell people about 100 day projects, they say, that's great and everything but why <laughs> why would you even bother so i'm gonna list for you all the good stuff that's happened uh, as a direct result of me doing 100 day projects so number one when i was backpacking through th southeast asia um in 2016 i had saved up all my money from being a nanny and i set myself the challenge while i was traveling to draw every single day for 100 days and those drawings are the drawings that i used as a portfolio to get into Edinburgh College of Art and because they'd seen that I'd been drawing every single day and I was obviously obsessed with it they were like yeah cool you can join the master's program too. When I was in my master's program I did another 100 day project and those paintings and drawings that I did formed my final show so it helped me to continue to create more work and create up a big body of work and a portfolio which was yeah, it felt kind of easy because I was doing it every day and I was in the habit of it. I also took those drawings and turned them into products that I was selling at the time. So I had calendars, um, sketchbooks that I was selling, cards, prints. I was selling the originals as well. And because I was studying full time, I didn't really have time for a job, but selling my work helped fund me and it stopped me getting into too much debt. I still had credit cards and stuff, but that's another story for another time. I got my first live illustration job on the back of some 100 day project drawings. I was creating this work, putting it on my website, and then one day Stella Artois were browsing the internet, found some of my drawings, and they were like, could you draw those onto some beer glasses for us? And I was like, uh, probably, and I did. And that was like the beginning of my live illustration career. Just like that. So making work and sharing it consistently is magic and if it takes a 100 day project for you to pull your finger out and do that, then there's nothing wrong with that. So join me, it's going to be fun. What are you doing for your 100 day project? Let me know in the comments. I am nosy. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the practical stuff. I put a shout out on Instagram. I'm Katie Draws, you can come and be my friend there. Um, and I said, has anybody got any questions? And this was the first one that came up over and over and over again. People said, how do you stick to it? How do you create momentum and keep it going? So this is good, because this is really exciting. The, there's a phrase, uh, like a saying, the best camera you have is the one that you have with you. And the same applies for sketchbooks. The best sketchbook you have is the one that you have with you. So here's a nice tiny one. I like this because I can pop it in my pocket. It fits in the front pouch on my backpack. Another thing people asked was, how long do I spend on each drawing? It doesn't matter. <laughs> like some days I will literally draw the quickest thing and be like, I'm done, I don't wanna do this. Other days, two hours. It completely depends on how you feel. I have seen people recommending that you set a timer uh, maybe for like four minutes or something and then that gets you started and you know you're going to spend at least that chunk of time on it but honestly it doesn't matter it doesn't matter yeah you're drawing every day that's enough <laughs> you don't have to like set yourself really massive time frames to do it in prioritizing and time management i think if you've gone for step one and you're carrying like a portable sketchbook around with you this will happen easily and the easiness of it is there are always times when we're waiting. If you think of all the times that you're in a queue and you pull out your phone and you just have a bit of a scroll, all the times that you're maybe awake before everybody else or you're waiting on the bus to get home, any of those times, those are the perfect times to draw a 100-day drawing. Do not let perfectionism get in the way. You don't need like the perfect materials or like the perfect composition. Just It's just about getting in a habit of drawing every single day. So 
Some of my favourite drawings have been done in the queue. I remember I was in the queue in Superdrug to get my eyebrows done and I was like drawing the little like threading, you know, when they have like one bit of thread in their mouth and they're like threading their eyebrows. And I was drawing the ladies doing that because it's fascinating. Um, and they, <laughs> they thought I was a like mystery shopper marking them on their performance. So that was a bit awkward. So I had to show them and be like, I'm just drawing. <laughs> but yeah. Cues, cues are brilliant. Also on perfectionism, remember you've got a hundred days ahead of you to get better. So if today it's a viral, really quick drawing and you hate it, that's fine. Nobody has to see it. How to pick a theme. I don't, I just draw. Like drawing every day is the theme. <laughs> and then I don't feel like I'm in a box. There will be things that you get interested in over the course of your hundred days. For instance, in the past, I got obsessed with horoscopes and what else like places i'd been on holiday but like just draw yeah somebody i spoke to on instagram was drawing slugs for 100 days yeah you do you if you want to draw slugs for 100 days you draw slugs for 100 days i would say though don't feel like you have to pick a theme drawing every day is a, a little bit on mindset and approaching your 100 days of drawing know that some drawings are going to be totally rubbish and that is fine. Don't expect to do a hundred masterpieces. Don't have any expectations. Just, it's just like the act of drawing every day. It's like meditating. You know, if you've ever meditated, when you sit down to do it, some days your brain is just not there and you're just not into it. Same with drawing. So let go of expectations, embrace not knowing the outcome and just let yourself do one day at a time for a hundred days and see where it takes you. Last but not least, other things that can help are accountability. So if you're on social media, you can share that you're doing it. That doesn't mean that you have to share your work every day because it can be a little bit uncomfortable, especially if your drawings don't feel good to you right now. Um, and the second thing that can help is surrounding yourself with other creative people. Bonus points if they're also doing a 100 day project. So I've got a few suggestions for you for creative communities. The Good Ship Illustration, I'm a co-founder with my good friends, Helen Stevens and Tanya Willis. You don't have to join the course. The free community is also brilliant. I'll put a link below where you can get our free drawing guide. And that can help get you started, especially if you're feeling really stuck and not knowing where to begin. We'll be like a friendly voice in your ear, <laughs> helping you get started. Other good online communities. Twitter's brilliant. Instagram's brilliant. Just have a browse of hashtags, the 100 day project, daily drawing, stuff like that. And you will find your people and that can really help you to um, keep making work consistently. Cause 100 days is a long time. You'll, you'll find that out. If you'd like to get my drawing diaries, there's a link to get my emails in the description. I send them every two weeks. That will also help you stay motivated. And yeah, tag me on social media. I'm at Katie Draws. I'd love to see if you're doing a 100 day project too. And that helps keep me motivated, so. Yeah, I will be uploading more videos soon, I hope.